To start box cutter, you want to press this button on the toolbar or hit the hotkey Alt W. You can see that box cutter has a lot of preferences in the top toolbar, but I personally like working from the right hand toolbar. You can find a lot of the same preferences here as you can in the header. The most important tab for me is the help tab at the bottom. This is where you can find a lot of operations and hotkeys associated with them. To, I suggest learning the hotkeys as they will speed up your work a ton. To make your first box cut, you simply want to left click and drag across the surface. Let go of that drag and it will extrude down for the depth. Then you want to click again to apply that boolean. This is the very basics of box cutter. So if we make another cut here, we can see that in the help panel, there is a wide selection of operations with their hotkeys. One operation I use the most is bevel. You can activate bevel with the hotkey B, and from here you can scroll with the middle mouse button to add more segments, or push it all the way in to add a one face bevel. Then you can also press Q to bevel the bottom as well for a contoured bevel. Another basic but powerful function is holding shift while clicking to apply the cut. This leaves the boolean visible and free to make edits to. The next operation will be offset and extrude. Draw a box, and in the help panel, you can see the hotkeys. When you press O during a cut, it will let you offset the very top of the box. Then you can press E to go back into extruding the bottom. Pressing X while drawing a cut will turn that cut into a slice. You can see that it turns into a yellow box. A slice makes that boolean you cut into its own object. So now if we select this box, we can cut it, and you can see that it's not cutting the original shape, because they are two separate objects now. Pressing Z during a cut will create an inset box. You can also adjust the thickness of the inset with the hotkey T. Pressing J while cutting will make that boolean and use the union operation. We can see that in the modifier tab here. That means if we apply the booleans, we can see that it just adds a, this box to the shape. Pressing K during a cut will bring up this blue box. This is the knife cut boolean. If we left click to apply the cut, we can see that nothing changed with the visual geometry of this cube. But if we go into edit mode, we can see that the cut works just like a knife tool in Blender cutting to add edges and vertexes. Pressing A while making a cut will use the operation make. This just makes a box, a separate object. No booleans, this is just a box generator. The extract operation is a very unique operation. If you have multiple cuts and you want to copy all of the booleans and paste them, you can use this tool. Draw a box around the boolean cuts, but make sure you to encompass all of the cuts. If you then press Y, that will bring up this black box. So now you can click and drag again somewhere on the object, and you can see that it just duplicates all of the cuts that you made. Pressing V when you've drawn a cut will make an array for that cut. Pressing V twice will create a radial array. Pressing T during a cut will create a solidified modifier on the boolean to add thickness for the cut. There are a few options for this. We can see that the default scaling is for the outside of the box. But if we press 2, that will scale both. And 1 will scale only the inner box. You have options 1, 2, and 3. When you cut a box, the cut expands from the top corner from where you start. There's a feature in Box Cutter that will let you expand from the center, holding Alt while drawing a cut. You can also make a perfect square by holding Alt plus Shift. 
There is a pie menu you can access for quick switching between tools. You can press and hold D to view this menu. There is a lot of features here, but the common one I use a lot is switching from box cut to circles cut. You can make a circle cut and can scroll with the middle mouse button to add or decrease segments. You can then press and hold D again to switch back to box cutting. To duplicate cuts, you can create the cut you want and then hold Control and then double left click to paste the exact same cut you just made. Hey guys, so I just wanted to talk about a little bit about non-destructive and destructive workflows inside of Box Cutter. Uh, non-destructive basically means that if you create a boolean on the surface of the object, you can see that it creates modifiers right here. And then you can also see that there are cutters created in the cutter collection uh, under your scene collection right here and we can toggle the, the visibility of it and we can still move these around and we can scale them and we can rotate them all around and that basically just means that when you try to move your object here you can see that the cutters remain stationary and when we toggle into edit mode you can also see that none of the cuts have been applied to the object's geom actual geometry and this is a very powerful way of working because you can always come back and if there is a cut that you don't like, you can grab it or scale it or just get rid of it completely. And so, but if you want to go in and you want to edit the way that this looks, the actual geometry, you have to go in and you have to push this button that says apply boolean modifiers. So if we apply boolean modifiers, we can see immediately that all of the boolean modifiers are gone and all of the cutters from the cutter collection have uh, been deleted as well. So going into tab, into edit mode, you can see that these cuts are now part of the actual uh, cube geometry. And we can manipulate it just like um, just like any other object. And so this is a very common workflow for me is I like to work non-destructive uh, and just make just make cuts on the surface of an object. And then when it gets to a uh, to a certain point, I or I want to change something with the the true geometry, I'll just apply all the modifiers and then go in and do the edits that I want to do. It's a very, very powerful way of working if you can combine both non-destructive and destructive. Or you can just work in non-destructive completely. It's up to you. So that's all for this very short tutorial on box cutter. I just wanted to go over these features as they are features that I will be using a lot for my box cutter bot tutorial. There's still a whole lot of functionality in box cutter, so if you want to learn more, you can click this question mark button in the help tab, and then you can press the question mark again. This will take you to the documentation page for Do Box Cutter, where you can learn more about this add-on. Thank you guys uh, so much, and uh, take care.